Most fields in the Mid-Atlantic are several weeks into bloom, and it's probably easier to find fields that exceed stink bug thresholds than ones that don't. Stink bugs probe small bowls and extract the contents. This probing activity introduces pathogens into the bowl that can destroy that lock of cotton or frequently the entire bowl. When scouting for stink bugs, sample 25 bowls that are about an inch in diameter, so approximately quarter sized. This is debatable, but I only count hits on the inside wall of the bowl, not on the outside. So, I count a damaged bowl as one that contains any wart-like injuries on the internal walls or stained lint. It should also be noted that this sample should be taken away from the field edges because edges are not always representative of the entire field. Also, the more samples you take throughout the field, the more accurate the final assessment. The threshold for injury during weeks 3 to 5 of bloom is 10% damaged bowls. For late planted cotton or cotton that started blooming late, I would recommend extending the 10% threshold into week 6. Once you reach threshold, you'll want to know if you're dealing with brown or green stink bug as this will impact product selection. Work with your dealer and consultant to identify an appropriate product. Lastly, if you're setting bowls in mid-August that you think or hope will contribute to overall yield, they will be susceptible to stink bug through mid-September and will require protection. Remember, protecting bowls from insects not only increases the probability of higher yields, but it's critical to manage cotton for earliness and a timely harvest. For many of you, that may mean an extended hunting season. Good luck and thanks for choosing Phytogen.